What's up Team KBA? Now today's gear haul we are checking out is a first for our channel. It is a brand called Alpaca who were kind enough to send me a few of their gear to help discover what they're about, what kind of gear they produce, and just their approach to how you try and organize your gear, whether that's more for day travel with a backpack, light essential travel with a sling, and just more of the smaller EDC everyday carry stuff that can add the extra touch of quality of life upgrades. We have the modular phone sling, the Go Sling Mini limited edition. I believe their first, they've mostly done messenger bags, but we've got their first Elements backpack. Alpaca has been kind enough to give a discount to my KBA community and you can get 15% off the entire range. You'll see it just listed here. You can read my impressions about today's gear on my website at onetechtraveler.com. Without further ado, let's check out Alpaca's everyday carries. We're going to deal with the smaller stuff a little bit later and we're gonna get right down to the main show and that is the Elements backpack. You can see it's really flattened from when it was delivered to my house, but that gives us a good idea of how flat it can pack and for someone who likes to travel around and have a bigger carry with a daily driver when I'm exploring, um, it's nice to know that this can really flatten down very minimal. Honeycomb pattern, white lining. It's deep enough for your quick access stuff. So like your AirPods, your wallet, something that's a little bit more discreet, but easy to get into. Just to run through some of the materials, the external shell is made of a 500D WDR coated black Kodra HT material, 6.6 nylon, and then the bottom is a ballistic nylon, as I thought, uh, 1.6 D. The interior is a honeycomb patterned ripstop nylon lining. So we'll dive into that in a moment. And this is a 24 liter capacity bag. To simplify what all of that means, it is weatherproof, so it can withstand all the different elements. We also have some zippers. They are AquaGuard YKK zippers, so it just helps with the overall water and weather proofing of the bag. Cool, now that's out of the way. You won't find much on the front besides the Alpaca logo that sits towards the bottom left. And underneath that, we have, I guess, a quick access pocket. And that extends just to where the ballistic nylon material starts. It'll be great for like your AirPods, wallets, keys, just anything that you need quick access, but it's a little bit hidden for security. So that's a nice touch. Over on the sides, we have not just one, but two water or external pockets. And I have my Lark water bottle, which I take with me everywhere. This is more of like a typical size bottle. So if you got something like this, it will probably struggle for a lot bigger sized bottles. On the other side, it's exactly the same, but you could probably store like an umbrella. That elastic loop is very strong. So when it's not in use, it just keeps it against the main body. The back is quite interesting. First off, we've got a fully meshed and well ventilated bag. So extra padding. I find brands that pay a bit more attention to the chest straps um, usually lives a more satisfying feeling. Sometimes they're left as an afterthought, which means that over time, they're one of the first if not the first to break down. So this one is quite nice, not like a buckle um, that cinches. It's one that has some magnets. It just place one behind the other and it will hold. These are removable, but for heavier loads, it's nice to have. Next part, we have this really interesting padding design underneath the shoulder straps. It's like a hexagonal polygon. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's got a lot of raised profiles through that design. So I'm curious to see how that actually helps sit on my shoulders, the overall comfort, quite dense and looks like it's got good foam padding inside. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Uh, we've got an alpaca detailing on the left and we've also got this additional webbing. So these can be like attachment points for a carabiner, a hook, um, but it also presents a chance to attach the modular phone sling that we'll do later on. I always need a handle at the top. I grab it a lot from the ground or wherever it is. Um, I just find that also very comfortable when I don't want it on my back. And that's also good to mention, we've got weather sealed reversed YKK zippers. So again, weatherproof, waterproof, and nice and smooth. So what makes it easy with this kind of bag is how we can really dive inside the interior. Their hub like modular organization system. They've got these clips that can hook into these webbings and that's going to 
provide a unique way where you can clip on things like your keyring, your house keys, a torch, hand sanitizers, three attachment points here, another three. So when you close it, they're kind of gonna press into each other. So it's more of like, I would say one or the other rather than all being used at the same time. Otherwise it might get a bit crowded. Two zippers. Now the first one, memory cards. And then we have another one here. And, oh, how deep does that go? It's gonna say, how deep is your love? It's literally just beneath the hub point. So that's quite a nice discreet pocket. I've always had very positive experience with this type of lining. It also gives a bit more of a premium feel. So I like how there's a lot of attention to detail with the interior. Why it keeps that minimal contemporary or monochrome look and it looks fire. I like it a lot. Velvety, uh, well padded. There's like a, a thick foam in between at the rear and the laptop section. So that's really assuring uh, for that extra protection. And this can store up to a 16 inch laptop. It's, it's quite a slim opening. Keeping to a minimal setup is probably the strength of the Elements backpack. We've got the Sling Mini, just to give you an idea. We can slide this. It gives enough room for the hub organization system. Nice premium materials that are being used. Um, I can see the exterior shells already picking up little bits of dust and we might maybe lint. So I'm curious to see how much extra effort it takes to maintain this type of material. Hub modular pieces as well as at home, you can attach and throw straight onto this. I think it could be quite interesting. Now, next up, we have the Ghostling Mini. So as I mentioned, this is the limited edition version. See, there's the VX42 X pack material. Now, if I bring it closer, you can see that X cross hatching underneath the material. It's a lot more lightweight and not as dense or thick as the Black Cordra material used on the Elements backpack. And I think for a Sling Mini, I'd probably opt for this versus the normal material. It's got a nice stealthy look. We have one zipper on the front, wide at the full width and deep enough where you can store, I could probably store my phone. Yeah. So if you, especially if you've got cross body style, mix grabbing it quite nice. You can also store your cable. We've also got a key tether here. It's a simple, but a nice touch. We've got a little tether and we can attach this to our keys and it clicks in. Towards the rear, a bit more security, bright visibility. So the orange works really well here and it's just one full space and no pockets. Quite a bit of room to pack this part, but I would say it, will, it might eat into the main compartment. So just bear that in mind. A lot more valuables, maybe in your passport, just keeping it pressed against your chest or your back, depending on how you're carrying it. The main compartment, this is interesting. Two pockets against the the front lid section. Lateral pocket that expands the full width and it has a furry lining on the inside. Fit my Nintendo Switch in here. And also the iPad mini, quite a decent amount of height. So you can definitely pack this with a variety of stuff. It doesn't compress as you fill it up. It's got a bit of space that you can fill in um, if you're carrying more than just the minimal. You probably put your power bank in the main compartment, Nintendo Switch iPad mini towards the back or even your notepad. And yeah, maybe my hard drive, a few ND filters, camera batteries. There's quite a few ways that you can load this out for different use cases. So that's always quite exciting for sling bags. Towards the rear, we have a D-ring and that's looped and attached to the rear side. Yeah, I could just have that hanging and you can carabine it, anything. This strap, so it is seat belt webbing. They have these excess loop fasteners and make sure it's not dangling down. So I always find that super important to have. It's a Fidlock magnetic buckle. Give you a closer look. It's like that. We've got a loop and we can just pull it away. Attaches just like that. Here's just a closer look at the Ghostling Mini. The front compartment, the main compartment. And then the rear pocket. It doesn't feel like it's a strap system you can freely adjust on the go. But this is what it would look like. And you'd probably want to tighten it after. So it looks like it's 
friendly for left and right side carrying. It sits just as well too. And I quite like this one because I'm more used to taking from my right. You also have some attachment points towards the side. It's where the zippers can kind of sit into, so it covers it somewhat. And you just have the clip from the hub system attached to the web, and then you can clip on and off the stuff. You have one point here, and then the other point here as well. So um, it's nice that they try to integrate those features across the ecosystem that makes them compatible from one type of bag to another, like the elements to the Go Sling Mini. The final one we're checking out today, it is the modular phone sling. Two things that make this more than just a case to protect your phone. It has a removable strap and it's made of a seat webbing. It looks like it's got a lot of good length, but we do have a fastener for excess loops. This is what it looks like towards the back. So you can see quite a few bits going on, but it's not as complicated as it looks. We're going to attach it to the top parts here. Close the latch by just pinching it a little so the latch goes over and it looks like that. We can have this as an individual carry across the body too. I, I quite like this system. Similar to the limited edition Ghostling Mini is the VX21S pack material and you can see those faint cross hatches. Um, it also feels just a lot lighter and it has a magnetic latch to open and close the pouch, which is fairly strong. We got the same inner liner as the Go Sling Mini and that slides just in. It's quite a tall phone, so you can see it just peeks out from the top, but no problem at all. And it has quite a bit of height for the magnets to latch onto. So when it's closed, it looks like this. Store your cards, travel cards, probably a slim wallet system. And this seat strap helps you to loop it up. It's actually quite nice. I only just noticed it has this elastic loop so you can attach your pen, your stylus, maybe even a slim portable torch light. Got our Elements backpack here. And as I mentioned, you can attach this onto the strap. We can lower down the chest strap if we want to use them both. I'm just trying to, there we go. We've got that pressed. Just Velcro the back. And there you have it. The modular phone sling attached onto the Elements backpack. Cool, has a nice tactical look to it. Sits well, of course there's nothing inside my bag, so we'll see how it is once I've um, put stuff in there. I tend to wear my backpacks a lot tighter against my body, so that feels very normal for me. But this phone sling is actually really cool. Maybe the, the removable strap and wearing it independent would be nice. I think there's gonna be moments where I'd like to have this attached to my backpack and just always know it's gonna be here. Yeah, what do you think? Looks good, right? So that wraps up our first look at Alpaca Gear on the channel. Doing things very different from other brands, so they've got a very distinct style to everyday carry. Modularity of stuff, very cool. Thanks again to Alpaca for providing me with a discount code to my KBA community, where you can get 15% off using this code just here. If you have any questions or curious about some of the features, let me know down below. And of course, check out my website, onetechtraveler.com if you wanna read more of my impressions with Alpaca gear, alongside my travel stories and other gear reviews. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, keep being awesome. Lego.